Can we edit this part no, out? No, we're keeping everything in. No. Deal with it. My reputation as someone that can smell good will be ruined. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm Buddy Absol, call me Brock, and welcome back to the Fire Red League. Three random items are so only guys. Pause. Due to some unforeseen circumstances, in which I mean me accidentally messing up my gameplay, for the next, I'd say, three episodes, my gameplay on the screen's gonna look weird. It's not the right size, because I just messed up in OBS. This is Brock, by the way, so my bad. I think this is episode five. It's episode okay. five. So, guys, between episodes, we did a bit of grinding because uh, we were scared. So. Oh, yeah. There was no chance we could have done anything had I at least not okay. grinded. So, first up, we got Google's the Venonat, female, level 17, bug poison type. With the quirky nature, with huge power. Once again, can't believe that. With the moves Tackle, Disable, Confusion, and Supersonic, and that is Link 2. Wait, which one is that Link 2? Is that my Sorinub? Wait, no. Yes, yeah, Sorinub. Sorinub. Okay, I got a Swinub named Thick, who has the gentle nature. Uh, it's got the Volt Absorb ability, which I mean... Uh, it's got Tackle, Odor Sleuth, Mirror Coat, which I learned through TM, and then off-camera, off I leveled it up to learn Powder Snow. Okay. So, can we talk about real quick how Miracoat saved your butt during grinding so many times? Oh, oh yeah, let's talk about that a little okay. bit. Um, I, I encountered a Rosalia with Arena Trap. I was switch training with Swinub, like I threw it out, and then I was switching to Shup it because it could actually do something. And um, this Rosalia had Arena Trap, it used Absorb, I think it was. And it took almost half my health. Almost. And I was like, Brock, Brock, what do I do? And he said, okay, wait, what, what, what do you have? I said, I have Tackle, Odor Sleuth, Mirror Coat. And then he was like, you have Mirror yep. Coat? Your life may have just been saved. I was like, what does Mirror Coat do? And then he said, okay, if you can survive the next hit, use Mirror Coat. And then it, and then it happened, and then I f Garlic Aioli. The Rosalia, and I was like, oh! Okay, and wasn't there also a Clam Pearl? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Clam Pearl, basically the same thing. It just used Clamp instead, and that's why I couldn't switch out. Dude. But, yeah. Go on. Dude, what? that that one TM saved your butt so many times already. I mean. <laughs> I cannot okay, believe it. Okay, back to the team recap. So, next we got Uproot, the Cradilly, male, level 16, rock, grass type, with the Moss nature, with the cute charm ability, and with the moves Acid, Constrict, uh, Astonish, and Endrain. Wow. I have um, a Shuppet named Rotom because of that one theory. Uh, don't at me. Um, it's also got a gentle nature as well as the swine up. And it's got a uh, natural cure, which has also been incredibly useful. Um, and it's got knockoff and screech. Knockoff has been very useful for fighting ghosts. Wait, types. you only have knockoff and screech? I thought you had astonish too. Uh, I don't know where you got that idea, but I have not had astonish. Okay, anyway, now for the starters, you got. United the Crocodile, level 23 female, docile nature, holding the bright powder, it's a water type, the thick fat ability, with the move scratch, leer, bite, and water gun. Whoa. I have uh, this executor named Tree, which has been pretty much useless throughout this entire playthrough a little bit. <laughs> it's got bold nature, it's got runaway ability, and probably the most useful part. And it's got barrage, hypnosis, confusion, and growth. Dude, honestly, your abilities have like been like like incredibly like they've been very niche niche yeah. useful okay so going oh, okay. all right so i guess we're gonna make our way through mount moon in this episode by the way go to the left and go up because there's another item wait i'm in what i'm at the route four pokey center right outside yeah, mount moon. where are you telling me uh, to go, go in mount moon ah uh, okay i have never played gen one yeah we know. Alright, I got Paralyze Heal. I mean, <laughs> could be better. Whoa, it's a furry. Yo, freaking furry, dude. Let's talk about that. I mean. God damn it. What? I need. Uh, I couldn't run away. Dude. I can't. Again. I start. Don't lose a Pokemon. 
five minutes into the episode. It, it, it'll be fine. I'm switching to tree so I can actually run away. Okay. So, did you ever get your TM last episode? Was it much shot? Uh, yeah, which can't be taught to swine. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm pretty sure that we randomized TM compatibility, but that would... S oh, that's stupid. Probably should switch and then run against the Cyclosian. Oh, wait, I just realized we never did the showdown recording, did we? Yeah, it's okay. We'll solve that beef some other time. Yeah, we'll, we'll, rec we'll record that after this episode, so... I mean... Or not, you never yeah, know. Yeah, guys, we're recording this like a day after the last two episodes. So. Oh, yeah. Each two episodes, we uh, go to another uh, a yeah, session. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so. Mount Moon, like, it always, like, messes with my head. Like, when going through because you always have to go to the last ladder, not the first one. <laughs> Why does this trainer have Articuno? What? <laughs> This random trainer in Mount Moon that I went left to f face has Articuno. Oh, no. Oh, no. That, no, no. Wait, wait. Ice. Ice is special. Oh, so, wait. Are you are you telling me I should use Swine wait. Up? No, I thought... It's probably not even going to have any ice moves. He should probably... He should have Powder Snow at least, but... I thought... I thought uh, Swine Up, for some reason, was, was resisted, but it's neutral, so... I don't know, actually. Yeah, because it's, it's ground ice. Uh, confusion. Wait, did you stay with Executor? Did what? you just stay with Executor against an Articuno? It's it's fine. I use confusion, and it's confused. Oh my god! Don't lose our starters, <laughs> please. Do not lose our starters, dude. Okay, you're. It it used Powder Snow on me, and it did like maybe nine damage. It's okay. fine. Okay. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. Like, don't scare me like that. It's fine. It's dead. Okay. Oh, my God. I like to live on the edge. And by the edge, no. I mean extreme stupidity. Okay, I thought you were going somewhere else with, somewhere else with that. Uh, what does Stomp do? Uh, Stomp? Oh, you finally got another move. Uh, yeah, it's on like my a executor. 60 base... Power normal time move. It, 65 base power, 100 accurate. That's not bad at all. And it has a chance to make the foe flinch. Like, it's honestly a, it's it a really good move. Normal. It's normal, so it's, like, not special? Yeah. Is that right? Normal is physical in this gym. Okay. Oh, this guy's got a... I mean, I guess Stomp. Stomp should have given it away anyway. Oh, okay. Should I remove Barrage for it? Uh. I mean, if you look at the stats, it looks way better yeah, immediately. Yeah, Barrage, Barrage usually only hits. All right, so I have an issue. I'm going. I'm facing a Jirachi right now, <laughs> and I, this gen okay. steel resist dark. Okay, like I'm, I'm more than double its level, but it's still a Jirachi. Okay, I should be fine. I'm gonna heal my Pokemon. Oh no, I'm confused. I don't like that. United, please use my. No, United! Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, it's. What is happening? I'm going against a Jirachi and it confused me. <laughs> and it used rest. That is. I hate confusion. It used rest? Oh no! Rest was. Are you kidding me? I was trying. What's the issue? It, it hit itself again! Oh god. Okay, story time. I, I played Omega Ruby. Like, that was one of the first Pokemon games I, like, actually finished. And, um... I was trying to catch Groudon. Obviously, Groudon's, like, awesome. And I could not do it for so long, because every time I got it down to low health, it just kept using Rest. Dude, rest is just annoying. Oh, yeah. And, like, obviously that put it to sleep, so it made it kind of easier to catch, but I... With... It still had high health, and whenever I attacked it, it, like, woke up, or I don't know, something like that. What is a Silk Scarf, Uh, it boosts normal type moves, I think. Yeah. Should I give that to Executor? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I used Wish! Oh no. That, like, gives full health in, like, three moves. Uh, or whatever, it gives. Right? It gives a chunk. Oh my oh, god, okay. stop! Oh, I used Rest again! Now, this is just annoying now! Dude, you may die. I'm not gonna die. 
Alicia has me. It's about to die now. Jeez. Jirachi. Why does every trainer have a legendary? <laughs> Yo, this oh, this is a Hunto. That's a that's a niche book. When I like Hunto. Uh, is dark effective against psychic? Uh, yes, it, it is right. Dark okay, so I'm gonna use probably knock off against this Latias. You, uh, you have a Latias, dude. Okay, that's scary. I'd be afraid. The Latias use wish. Oh my god, we're just getting stalled, aren't we? Oh, it does no damage. Knockoff does no well, damage. Dude, it's a shuffle it against a Latias. It, shut up. It used wish again. What the oh, heck? Oh my god, like. <sighs> It's not doing anything. <laughs> the wish just came true. Okay. Did you give the silk scarf to Executor? Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to end up using yeah. Stomp. Go to Executor because it's sh and Ladia shouldn't have anything to hit you with. That's super effective. Yeah, it's got oh Psy Wave. Oh, that's, yeah, that's, that's scary. Be... How much? So, so I remember Psy Wave being like really powerful. Dude, all right, Psy Wave does random damage every time. So oh, no. it could do daily. What? Why does Stomp do so much damage? Dude, Silk Scarf and Stomp's a really good move. Oh, Psy Wave does no damage to me. It's fine. I'm just saying, dude. It does random damage. Be okay. careful. Yeah, I just I got rid of it in two Stomps. Hey, Rotom learned Nightshade. Yo. I don't know what that does. A uh, Nightshade, it does damage based on your level. So, say you're level 20 and you use it, it does 20 damage. I just got a nugget. Yo, I can sell that. Oh my god, that's like a thousand Poké Dollars. Uh, I think it's it? two thousand actually. No. I'm... Oh, I know big nuggets are ten thousand. It might actually be five thousand. We're just going up now, aren't we? Uh. Okay, I know that's in funny. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, big nuggets are ten thousand. Oh no, this guy probably is using Sand Attack. Oh, I killed it. Never mind. Okay, I'm good. what's up with this? What's up with this ladder in Mount Moon? That okay, goes down? is it the first one you found? Okay, yes. don't go down that one. Okay, that's what like, I thought. Unless, like, you, I don't know why I thought that. Unless you want to explore and like, possibly like, pick up a Master Ball. Possibly like, pick up a Master Ball. Possibly like, pick up a Master, master, master Ball. Uh... Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's... Well, I don't know. I'll probably go explore. It doesn't seem like there's too much dangerous around You're here. You're chanting, guess what's on my screen? What is it? It's your mascot! <laughs> it's it's yeah, Dance Mice! Yeah. Hey, Umbreon. I'm. Wait, I can't. I don't. I. Okay. Okay, it's dead. Stomp is so good! Dude, like, I've been telling you! Which has been pretty much useless throughout this entire playthrough a little bit. Silks that skill that silk scarf was a niche find like that was helping me out. This Umbreon or what the garlic aioli? Uh, Executor is so much more powerful with the silk scarf now. Oh, dude, it's all on the stump. So unless something stupid happens, I'm probably not going to end up uh, possibly dying this episode. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna end up using losing the executor unless something stupid happens. I don't know why I lost my train of thought there. Okay, so we were talking about this before the recording. So this is just random tangent, okay? So I think I met my future wife today. Um, Brooke, help what me. What is happening? It's sent. It's it's sending on a machoke. Okay, machoke. Normal is wait. I have confusion. Yeah, why are why you I worried? Concerned? Okay, I was like, wait, I can't use Stomp! That's the only move I know! <laughs> okay, so, back to my thing. I think I met my future wife today. Like, I told- like, I told you about this before the recording, and you're- and you're fully aware of this, because you were there. Yeah. Hey, level 20. Okay, so. Me and my parents were- we were going to town, we were going to get some food at this, like, this little place. Like, a little, like, local thing. A lo local restaurant, it's called- it's really small. So, I'm watching a rival lock by King Corfish and Original 151. Go check out that series because if you found this, you can probably find that. I knew you were going to dude, shout them out. I just dude, knew. I am, dude, I'm gonna try like plug someone else's series or shout someone else or shout someone else out in every episode. So deal with it. 
you're a fanboy. I know I'm a fanboy, and I'm okay with that. I need repel. <laughs> okay, so. And, like, one of their latest episodes, they said, like, they're talking about how, like, King Corfish, like, how he, like, said he was going to meet his future wife at, like, at the drive-thru at Taco Bell. I was like, huh, I should probably put that out into the universe. So, it's like, I'm going to meet my future wife at the Hamptons. And, oh, my God, the girl working the counter was so cute. She must have been holding a pink scarf. What? I just found a pink scarf and I realized I, I read it and it boosts cute stats or whatever and I I, I made a, I made a joke. Okay, but anyway, like she was born. She had like she had this adorable ponytail. She had the biggest blue eyes. I fell hard. Every time you say the biggest, I don't think that's where you're going. No. Get your mind out of the gutter, Shannon. She had, she had massive eyes. Dude, like... Alright, so, your dog Max, like, his eyes... Yeah. So, like, his dog, his dog Max, all he wants attention, all he wants love, he has eyes that can gaze through your soul. <laughs> Team Rocket! That's what this girl's... That, that's what this girl did to me. I was like, oh my god. This... This... I gotta get this girl's number. I have to. The only issue- I found a Master Ball! Like, 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 like a master ball. What? I found a Master Ball! Oh my god! It's meant to be! I talk about my- Wait. I talk about finding my mute about finding my future wife and I find a Master Ball. It's meant to be, because Master Balls can catch anything without fail, so I'm gonna catch this girl without fail. Dude, I think you're I think you're reaching just a little it's bit. It's a sign! Uh, I found this Jolteon, and my Swina might be awesome here. Okay, so back to my story. I was about to shoot my shot until my dad, who's notorious for being a complete and utter... Can I say a-hole? What? Can I say a-hole? I mean, I've been saying anything I want I mean, without like, remorse. I mean, like, without, so. like, leaping mats. Probably like, not. My dad's a big butthole, but a bit raunchier. God, you sound family friendly and it's gross. Deal with it. But anyway, so my dad, he's notorious for being a big butthole. So, and the lady that like runs the place, like she was messing like this older guy that came in earlier. She know I, she knew him. So like that's why she was messing with him. My dad mouths off and says something and like I I couldn't do crap after that because I was so embarrassed by the thing he said. I don't even remember what he said because I was that embarrassed. I was like, I don't get this out of my head now. I wanted to slap oh, my god. own father. Oh my god, Bell Sprout's Gen Three Sprite is art. Dude, I saw that. I saw that a few episodes ago. Like it, it is. All of the sprites are art. <laughs> Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. What type is Luna? A uh, rock psychic. Uh, executor's probably fine. Yeah, dude, you should be fine. Like you, you got the stomp. It missed. Oh god. Oh. Uh -huh. Executor is actually like maybe a lot better than I gave it credit for at the beginning of the episode. Yep. I mean, it made it flinch. Yeah, dude. Dude, stomp was... I totally forgot Dude, I could do stomp's that! stomp's a good move! <sighs> Amazing. So, I just realized, we're about to get the fossils, aren't we? Oh, do they hatch or whatever into random uh, Pokemon? They do not hatch. We revive them in C at Cinnabar Island. And yes, they're random. The fossils are fossils are basically eggs. But, yes, they'll, they will be random once we, once we revive them at Cinnabar. That's awesome. How far away is Cinnabar Island? Uh, it's the seventh gym, and we haven't taken on the second one yet. Yeah, oh, it's God. ridiculous. Is the second gym Misty? Uh, yeah. I found this max ether. Should I use it on all my right. stomp? No. Save all ethers for the Elite Four. You, you'll, you'll thank me. That's actually a really good idea. Hey, I just realized something. I can run. <laughs> Like, I don't have to use speed up. I can run. The speed up is faster. I don't care. 
But dude, like, dude, I'm like, I'm still shook by that girl. Like, it's like, ah, like, <laughs> uh, I have to. Oh, I'm scared now. That's like Gengar. I only have sixes. And oh, it does hypnosis. Only... Oh no! Oh, that was garlic aioli. I was grinding. Should I tell that story? Uh, sure. Okay, so basically, while I was grinding, I was like, okay, I've got knockoff. Gang our Gengar uh, haunters shouldn't be a problem. So, this haunter used nothing but hypnosis constantly. And since I have natural cure, I was like, oh, I'll just switch out and it'll be fine. Every time I switched back in, it used hypnosis and got me to sleep every single time. And it, hypnosis has like 60 accuracy or something. I mean, you can check. You have hypnosis on, on Executor, right? Yeah, it's... It was really stupid. Dude, like, you just had like a tough time grinding. Like, that was... <laughs> It was not good. It has 60 accuracy. Yeah, so and it landed every time. That's pretty stupid. Ugh, oh, made me so mad. Dude, that's why pe dude, that's why Spore is such a good move. Oh yeah, Spore is one of the best moves in Pokemon. Alright, I should probably switch my Predelia out of the front. Because it's paralyzed and I, it's slow as crap already. So Oof. Okay. So, I'm trying to remember if Jesse and James are in this game or not. Oh, wow. Because, like, I, awesome. they're in yellow and they're in let's go. But I don't know if they're in this game. And what did I just do? Blaziken! What about it? Um, that's that's the Pokemon that this trainer is about to send out. I could probably just use Confusion, unless it has a strong fire type move. And I, pro uh, I don't know. Dude, like... Can we just, like, like, can we talk about how, like, I got a mashed ball and you had no reaction? Just like, okay, that's cool. I'm mad at you. You're mad at me because I got a master ball? Where did you I get it? I just got it in Malmoon, just on the floor. I got a silk scarf and a weeper ba weeper berry. Dude, that silk scarf is saving your butt right now. Don't even. I, okay, I got a silk scarf, a max ether, a pink scarf... And a whoopear berry. Okay. I'm hey. angry. Oh, and a yellow scarf. Well, the, the yellow scarf was earlier. Hey, stop. Should I should I keep Executor out for Blaziken though? Uh, no. What else can I use? My swine up. Uh, it's fine. Time moves won't have any effect on. Wait, actually. Actually, maybe stick with Executor. Yeah, I think you're right. Wait, that's a psychic type. I need to switch. Okay, my Victor was faster, so... Yeah, I one-shot it with Confusion, okay. Okay, so, I'm about to get my Fossil, so which one do you want? Oh, um, I'm not there yet. Dude. Just run around in circles for a while. I feel like I do that a lot. <laughs> just run around in circles, that's all I'm gonna do. Wh where are they? Uh, just keep progressing. Alright, have you gone down... Which ladder did you go down, the last one or the first one? I went down the first one. That's where I found the whoopair. Yeah, berry. dude. So we need to progress. The last. Wait, All right, there are three. I went down the sec. There are three. Yeah, I'm going down the second one now. I guess. Okay, I didn't bother going exploring. Okay, maybe that's why I'm so much so much slower than you. But dude, like I just like I want to get another encounter, dude. Like I just want. I mean. I didn't see what was coming in. What is pain split? Is the one where you take damage and then you split? Wh okay, explain it. All right, you use pain split, and like the total HP between the two Pokemon, like on the field, like will get equal. So I like, say you have ten HP and your opponent okay. has like thirty, like you'll both go, you'll both go to twenty. All right, fair. Curl back, please don't. Uh. Please don't do bad things to my crocodile. Okay, I'm going down the third ladder. Right, that's the one where you need to go. Hey, I found a pearl. What does that do? Is that you, you sell, sell it for it? money? Okay, third ladder. All right, so I assume you're gonna want the helix fossil. 
Uh, praise Lord Helix. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to take the Dome Fossil because of that. You take the Helix Fossil. Uh, originally they had Omanite and Kabutop, right? Uh, or Kabutop? Uh, Omanite and Kabuto. Kabuto, that's... It evolves into that. A rare candy? That raises level by one, doesn't yes. it? Hey, I'm not that bad at Pokemon. Oh, I gotta see it! So that can boost... That can boost water type attacks! Wait, what does that actually do? I'm... I'm like, I'm pulling that out of my butt right now. What does that do? <laughs> I thought you were a Pokemon Master. No, dude. Oh, it actually does. It slightly boosts the power of Horn Cybers. Okay. I'll give that to my Crocknoff if you like it. By the way, I, I found an Executor. Whoa! Whoa! That's like your starter Pokemon, dude. Whoa! I'm trying to Metal Gear my way around all of these trainers and Team Rocket members. Okay, by the way. What? You can go to these two uh, Karate dudes, like right outside of Mount Moon. And they'll. And like, they'll teach your Pokemon like a random like a random move. Oh, they're they're yeah. tutors. Like they'll say Mega Punch and Mega Kick, but they're not that. Okay. Okay. Why is Farfetch not Grass type? I'm kidding. All right, so one of them can teach my Cradilly Nightshade. D don't don't be like that. Hey, it's a wild Milotic. Dude, Milotic's beautiful. Let's be honest here. Oh yeah, I'd garlic aioli. Dude, you're making me. You're gonna have you're to do so much work. You're gonna have to just cut that entire part out. <laughs> and so the only thing that I can be offered with the Pokemon I have right now is Nightshade on my Cradillion. I don't. Actually, Nightshade can be good for Captain Pokemon. Like, I'll take it to my Cradillion. Yeah. Nice. I am facing an unavoidable trainer in Mount okay. Moon. Or an un unavoidable... Uh, what is it? Team Rocket oh, yeah. By the way, guys, I got a haircut. What do you think? Like... <laughs> I mean... Wait, not I mean... My... If anybody oh. watches this series, people are going to be so mad at my complete inability to play Pokemon. Dude... There are worse out there, I guarantee you. <laughs> For one, King Corfish, Asteroid Mania videos. Like, they are just all about the commentary. <laughs> nice. Wow, I'm fucking constrict. Constrict sucks. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Alright, so you take the Helix fossil because I took the Dome fossil. Okay. I'm facing this trainer. Oh, it's Fatty Tuna. <laughs> Wait, you found a Swallot? Yo, yeah. bet! Guys, if you don't know, like, whenever I get a swan in any game I play, I always name it Fatty Tuna because it just looks like a fat fish. It looks like a fat blobfish. You know, it's a stomach. Fun fact, blobfish do not look the way you would imagine them once they're underwater. Like, look at a blobfish, or Google a blobfish underwater. Okay. I'm doing that right now. Let's put that on screen, editor. <laughs> oh, you're making me do so much work. <laughs> wow, it's your least favorite Pokemon. Did you find a Stampler? I did. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? I know, right? That's so weird. Now you have to edit it because edit it on screen because of your reaction. I know. To that. What the heck? I know. <laughs> like they look spiky. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Why does this? Okay. A wi wild ridge ice, nice. Dude, run, or not run! A wild that has ice. explosion. Run. It's not. It's not wild. It's from the trainer. I don't oh, have a choice. God. And it's. I just confused it anyway. So. Dude, explosion is deadly. Cause like, what? It, it hurt itself in its own confusion. I'm probably fine. Dude, Brock. still explosion scary as crap. It, it's dead, bro. Thank you. Ugh. Yeah, I need a Pokemon Center. Like, I'm almost out potions. So, I'm I'm going outside of Mount Moon for you. Wait. I need to choose the Helix fossil? Yes, you need to. Okay. Praise Lord Helix! Oh my god. Dude, still, I found a Master Ball. Like, let's go. I can't 
can't believe that. Yo, I'm gonna just. Dude, I just got the zap cannon as a TM. What zap what cannon? It's not oh very accurate, but when it hits, like it, it's always a para. It's always a para. How does, how does Professor Oak just immediately like psychically know whenever you're using something you're not supposed to? Like, he doesn't psychically know. Like, he's like, I want to ride my bike indoors. Wait, the professor probably wouldn't like that, would he? I yeah, no, no but it sense. literally just said, it literally just said, Oak, and then a colon, and it said, now is not the time to use that. Oh, really? So it's like he's just, I'm pretty sure, unless I'm an <laughs> idiot, which I mean, likely. I mean. Yeah, it says, Oak, inward. This isn't the time to use oh, that. You, why did you have to name your character that? <laughs> Amazing. Dude, this series is going to get demonetized so fast. I mean. Oh my god. There's no way. Uh, never mind. Okay, so are you almost out about. Almost outside. Dig is the ultimate attack, don't you agree? Dig? Yeah, that's what it says. Dude, mine just says mega. Dude, mine says mega punch and mega kick. Wait, are you at the karate dudes? Yes. Dude, mine... Wait, do I have to choose uh, one? Oh, no, you can do them both. Oh, okay. Reversal, apparently. Uh. I don't think that's that good. Maybe. I think it does more damage depending. Like, if your health is lower. So. And yeah, I'll be fine. Alright, just come and get your encounter. Which one should I. Which Pokemon should I teach Reversal to? Alright. I'm just gonna teach it to Rotong because it doesn't have four moves. Okay. I mean, can you teach Dig Dandy Pokemon? Can I teach Dig? what? Oh, I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. Are you doing the flip? <laughs> yes, I'm doing the Jeopardy song. Do it. I can't teach Dig to the one Pokemon I really wanted well, to. You can't teach. Why well, can't Twine learn any of the ground type moves? Also, by the way, uh, before you jump over the ledge, there is a TM. Like, like if you just like walk on like the dirt patch, go up and to the left, and then you'll find another TM. So hopefully Swine Up, can, hopefully it's ground type move and Swine Up can learn it. Hint, hint. What? What should I teach Dig to? It's Rotom or Tree. Uh, you don't have to, but I'm doing it. Uh, tree. Thank you. Uh, actually, I'm gonna teach it to Rotom because garlic aioli. Thanks, dude. Another, You're another miscellaneous noise because YouTube will count the bleep noise as a actual curse. <laughs> nice. Dude, please come get your encounter. Hold on! Doom. You'll come crawling back once you re realize the value of dig. Where's the TM? Okay. So, go down the dirt trail, and you'll hit some trees. I found okay, it. Okay, what is it? Sing. Uh, dude, it's, it's, it's normal type hypnosis. Get your encounter. <laughs> okay. It is what a female Flaffy. Oh, you got a Flaffy? So yep. I gotta get a male that's not an electric type. Okay. <sighs> this could be really good. Yo, dude, Ampharos is sick. Yo, that's a him. Yo, oh, I yeah. got a him on top. Yo, that's fighting. I hey. Yo, we can add this. Is it? Is it yeah, male? male? Yo, we can add yeah. this, dude. Oh, I just realized. Oh, I should probably. Yeah, I need a switch? Crap. Oh, that was almost bad. I almost, like, used Nightshade with my Cradilly against a fighting type. That would not have been good. Oh, no. Do we can add this, dude. Oh, it's, oh, it's using... Yes! Swine Up is so good against electric types. Because it's got Volt Absorb. Right. Okay. Crit -dum, crit -dum, crit -dum, crit -dum. Oh, you missed! Oh no. Okay. Okay, at least this Flaffy can't do much to me, but I'm not doing much to it either. <laughs> okay. What route is this? I don't... I don't know. Alright. We can just... 
I may just have to try and use hypnosis on it. All right. All right, I'm about to. All right. Yo, what if I just threw the master ball this time on top? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Only I had a master ball. Dude, I only have seven Pokeballs. This isn't oh, looking good. No. Dude. Dude, you have no idea how good an amp to be for you. One. Two. Okay, well, it's asleep, so it should be fine. Cut the hit, Monta. Let's go. I need to remember to buy Pokeballs. Yeah, I need to buy potions. Like, I'm good with Pokeballs. Once we finish this pair, it's time to end the episode. Oh, though. yeah. Dude, I mean, we're ending this episode with a powerful pair, so. Heck so, yeah. hit. Mon. Huh? Dude, please catch a Flaffy. Please catch a Flaffy. I'm trying, Brock. You're not trying hard enough. Please, for the love of God, I need this. Okay. Okay, at least hypnosis is working. Like the haunters. <laughs> Don't remind me. All right, what should I name this thing? Uh, Beyblade. That's what I was gonna name. I was like, no, I don't. That's that's. Just... I caught it. Yes, let's go. Put yeah, it on the yeah. layout, okay, me. Really yeah, but you need to name it. Beyblade. I'm not naming it Beyblade. Beyblade. Oh wait, this is round four. I just realized. Yeah. I'm gonna name it Arthur. I'm gonna name my Flaffy Wooloo. Hell yeah, dude! Dude, wool is adorable. Maybe, I, like, maybe, maybe I can sneak it into Galar Borders. <laughs> oh my God, I'm probably not spelling Arthur right, but I don't care. A U T H U R. A U T H. A U T H E R. That's how I. A U R T H U R. Sorry. Oh, that named it. I named it Arthur. <laughs> I named it Arthur. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't even know if... Okay, that's better. That's better anyway. Alright, so I got author the freaking hint on top. Okay, I was thinking of the word... I was thinking of the word author anyway. It is just A-R-T-H-U-R. I need it. Can we edit this part no, out? No, we're keeping everything in! <laughs> no! Deal with it! My, my reputation as someone that can smell good will be ruined! <laughs> <laughs> what? But dude, we all have a powerful team. Intro moment. I mean, okay, I'm good with that. So, you can end the episode. Okay, um, all in all, this went, this is probably the best episode we've had so far. Okay, nothing came close to dying. We got a new pair, and it's honestly a pretty good, it's a pretty good pair for you. Like, it's a really good pair on your side, dude. Your team is, you have an Executor, yeah, a it's... Bayonet, a Pyloswine, and an Ampharos in the future. Like, I have not bad type coverage like i feel like your i think your team's better than mine because like him on top is oh, mad yeah. cradilla is actually pretty good uh i have a feature for out here and then, and then venomoth that won't have huge power so if him on top learns some good fighting moves and that could I be really, really good fighting moves are so i what? really don't think it does but i'm gonna wrap up this episode so guys that was this episode tune back in for episode six and